So I show up with my friend who's a nurse and we both have very good credibility. Like we're both nothing bad against us. Lots of awards, like very well known as good, like patient nurses. So we show up to this meeting in the big consecutive like boardroom that I would never go in for my whole life. Right. So they, I get in there. Long story short, um, big board meeting. They sit me down here. They sit the CEO across from me, the CNO next to him, and the head of HR next to me. So they kind of surround me like a bullying tactic, and they have my friends sit at the end of the table. Mm. So hour and a half long, you know, they approach, they tell me their side, I tell them my side, we go back and forth, and then it gets really ugly. Uh Yes, like we literally for an hour and a half pretty much just started arguing and almost fighting. Um, I went from being nervous to being pissed Mm. because the CNO, Becky Chalupa, she kind of slides this highlighted paper to me saying that um, I went against their policy for... um, for soliciting and that I could be terminated. And I was like, well, how am I soliciting? I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just asking people's opinion and they sign their name. That's not what soliciting means. Mm. So right off the bat, I knew what they were trying to do. So I was like, oh, hell no. Like, and then she even went so far as to say that somebody had told them that I was bullying them into signing the petition, which was absolutely a lie because anyone who knows me knows I would never bully anyone. So right off the bat, I got pissed because she kind of leaned forward in this like really like confrontational way to say I was bullying people. So I got mad and I leaned forward and I said, you are lying to my face. Like, I don't appreciate that. Like, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. You don't lie to me. I never did that. And I even told her, I was like, I'll pay for a damn lie detector test right now. And I'll get a thousand witnesses behind me that says, no, I didn't bully anybody. So you need to stop. Right. And then. I even tried to plead with them. I said, just negotiate with us. You know, I worked the COVID unit for the whole past year on and off. Like I caught COVID from a patient. I'm like, we managed through it without a shot. I said, just if we don't want it, just let us wear N95 and no big deal. That's what we've been doing anyways. They every, every, it, everything I brought up that was a fact or anything to negotiate, they wouldn't even talk about. They just ignored and kept saying their little agenda script. And then the head of HR sided with them, so she was no help at all. And then David Bernard, the CEO, I'll never forget these couple of things. So he looked at me, and he said 100% vaccination is more important than y'all's individual autonomy. Mm. Which, if you say that to a nurse, that's like a slap in the face. Because we, we, we practice off on autonomy, right? right? To be able to critically think and make our own decisions. So that was, and they, Methodist goes by their little I care values. So clearly, only when it suits them. And I told them that. I said, where are your I care values? Why do you not care about all these employees? Because at that time during that meeting, there was over four or 5,000 of us that still did not want to take the shot. So I was speaking on behalf of all of them because they were all scared. And then he even looked at me he, and he said, all of y'all are replaceable. If you don't like what we're doing. He really said that. I swear on the Holy Bible on my this life. Is the, the, this the is the CEO, CEO of Baytown Hospital. David Bernard of Baytown Methodist. He said, wow. all, that's why I wish I could have recorded this. But I will do a lie detector. You can hypnotize me, whatever you need to do.